Hi, I'm Katie McKinley from Wild and Wonderful. I've spent over a decade using various silhouette die cutting machines and I have literally hundreds of digital cut files, including tons of free ones, on my website for you to be able to create a bajillion amazing handmade projects with. Each of my downloads includes four different file types, SVG, PNG, DXF, and PDF. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to load these file types into Silhouette Studio software for your own creating purposes. The Silhouette Studio Basic Edition is a great program and it's free, so you can get yourself pretty far without having to upgrade if you don't want to. I built an entire business pretty much using my Silhouette and their free software. If I could do it, you can too. But why all these file types? Why can't designers just hand over .studio files? That's because studio files are proprietary formats exclusive to Silhouette and cannot be sold. Let me load up the software on my computer, show you just how easy these files are to use. Let's start with the most basic file type that I offer with my downloads, the PNG. PNG equals Portable Network Graphic. The ability to have a transparent background is what really increases the versatility of this file type. I'm so excited to share that. As of Silhouette Studio Basic 4.4, PNG files are auto-traced by the software. Go to File, Open, if you want to start a brand new mat, or File, Merge, if you've already set up your design area. See those red lines around the outer edge of the design? Silhouette Studio has already traced the outer edges of these design files for you. All you need to do is resize it to fit your desired size mirror it if you're using it for HTV, and cut away. SVG and DXF files will act the same way in Stu Silhouette Studio. However, the basic edition of Studio does not allow for SVG files unless you upgrade. This is exactly why I package DXF files into my downloads, to give you the same capabilities without having to worry about upgrading. DXF is short for Drawing Exchange Format. It's actually a proprietary AutoCAD data file format, and it was developed by Autodesk to enable data interactivity between AutoCAD and other programs. SVG files, which stand for Scalable Vector Graphics, are an XML-based markup language for describing two-dimensional-based vector graphics. Basically, you can make these designs as big or as small as you want, and you're not losing any of the quality. When you first open these file types, each shape is going to exist on their own. They'll be where they're supposed to be within the design, but they won't be grouped or connected to the rest. All you need to do is drag your mouse over the entire design, right click, and select group. On a Mac, you could just hit Command G, and on a PC, it's Control G to group these items. This file is all set to cut with your machine, but I know that it does throw some people off with the gray lines instead of a typical red color. So if you're really needing that change, you simply need to right click and select make compound path. Without getting too deep into compound paths, they are important in this software because it removes your files from an editable state and turns them into a solid objects. It's different from grouping because the software sees the inner lines as cutouts rather than just shapes on top of shapes. The easiest way to tell between a group and a compound path is by changing the fill of your design. Here's just our grouped image, and when we fill it, everything is one single color. And then if we take a look at our compound path, it actually has cut out the inner shapes. I hope that was helpful, and I hope you can move forward a teensy bit more confidently with using new file types on Silhouette Studio. P to the S, the two files that you saw me playing with, and two more are available as free downloads on my blog. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one.